Hey, this is Frank here with RC Foam Fighters. I got my bullet plane Magnum out where it's going to fly it the second time. I have a whole new power system in it. I'll go over that once we get done flying it. Three, two, yeah. one. Yeah. Oh! Bam! Ready. Three, two, one. Yeah. Damn. Damn it. Oh, that went down. Three, two, one. There it is! <laughs> Same way you took off. Direction. Land way you took off. It'll give you just a hair of a crosswind. Woo. Hey, look. Hey. What was that? Third time's charm, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get the plane and I'll go over to the new power system. All right, guys, here's Frank's speed reading on the Voltron GPS. He just landed 138 miles an hour was the max speed. All right, guys, um, those three uh, or the two mess up flights were my fault. I had the plane on the wrong model. Uh, one of our friends noticed that the elevator was going the wrong way. So I forgot late that we were up late last night working on this stuff and I had it on a different model. Um, I switched it up over to the, the right one and it flew fine. Um, now let's go over to a new power system. I got tired of messing around, so I upgraded everything because the old batteries were 3700s and they puffed. So I've gone up to a 4000 milliamp Turnigy Graphene. These are the 65C ones. Um, after that flight, they came down barely lukewarm, so I think they're handling it pretty good. Uh, when I watt metered this at home uh, with this setup that's on there now, it was pulling about 4000 watts of power. The ESC I changed out to a Castle Talon 120 uh, high voltage ESC. I like this one a lot because it has plug-in style uh, things for the wires, so I was able to just cut off the wires and put 5.5 millimeter bullet connectors on here instead of trying to solder it on to make the longer leads. That made that a lot easier to do. Um, the motor that I swapped out for is slightly bigger than the original turn uh, one that was on there. It was a 45 millimeter. This one's a 50 millimeter motor. It's a Leopard hobby motor. It's their LC700 500 kV motor. Um, it was a little bit longer and bigger in diameter, and it's rated at a constant watts of 4,300 and has a max watts of 5,000. Um, the motor came down lukewarm as well, so I think everything's running good. Uh, the prop I was running on that flight was an APC 11 by 7 uh, gas prop, um, and I was surprised at the speed that we got on the speed clock. It showed 138 miles an hour. 
Um, it didn't seem like it was moving that fast from looking at it from the ground, but I think it's probably deceiving because of how big the model is. Um, and I'm using a lot more airspace than I was with the smaller one. Um, that pretty much covers everything on the bullet plane Magnum for this flight. Um, stick around, I'll probably be doing some more flying with this with different props to see if I can get a little bit more speed out of it. But um, once I switched it over to the right model, everything went good. Um, that was a pretty dummy mistake, but it happens. All right, guys, thanks for uh, watching Archie Foam Fighters, and I'll see you again next time.